What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. New details has emerged into the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph, and now his killers has been revealed. We know Straight Drop is one of the killers. He's turning himself in Monday. That's all and over with. He gonna tell. When he go in Monday, he gonna give up more names. But then we got word that the police are now looking for a second suspect. And I'm going to say what I've been saying from the beginning. I think it's JoJo Splat. I think JoJo Splat would be identified as the second suspect. Now, I know a lot of bloggers done jumped off the bandwagon. They pick a new killer every week. It's this person, that person. But I'm sticking to my guns with this one. JoJo Splat is the second shooter of Young Dog. I got photos of him at the crime scene. Would you like to see that? That is JoJo Splat at the crime scene of Young Dog shooting. Look at that photo. Looks just like him. I know he got the hoodie on. I know he got his face covered. But look at the posture. Look at the mannerism. Look at the way he's standing. Twins. As some females say, twins. That's JoJo Splat. And you remember that pre-chain you seen Straight Drop always posing with? Always mocking Young Dolph Camp? JoJo Splat does that as well. Would you like to see photos of him with the pre-chain? Let's get to it. Boom. Look at JoJo Splat. Got the same weapon that the shooter had at the Young Dolph in one hand, flashing money, and then he posing with the famous pre-chain. I told you it was beef. When he rocking that pre-chain, he's not shouting out Young Dolph. He's not saying he's part of Paper Route Empire. He said, I got beef with you. I took a chain from one of your artists, and every time you see me online, I'm going to mock you, I'm going to taunt you by posing with the pre-chain, as you see here. And you remember we said Straight Drop had something to do with it. Police is looking for Straight Drop. It's a worn out for Straight Drop arrest. Remember I showed you photos of Straight Drop crime scene, that C8 Corvette being at the scene of Young Dolph shooting? JoJo Splat has ties to Straight Drop. And remember that white Mercedes Benz that was the getaway car used in the Young Dolph killing? JoJo Splat is very tight with the owner of that white Mercedes Benz, CEO Bobby. Let me show you that. So that is JoJo Splat and Straight Drop right hand man, CEO Bobby. You see that white Mercedes Benz? You see that Benz he's posing in front? I know he wiped his Instagram clean, but luckily he was able to screenshot it and we got proof right there. I believe that is the same Benz that you see on pictures. That is the same Benz that they pulled from their um, abandoned house that Straight Drop Shop Music videos at. That's the same getaway car that the police have already confiscated. So, I can tie JoJo Splat to Straight Drop that the police already issued out a warrant for, and I also can tie JoJo Splat to the getaway car used in the murder. He's very tight with CEO Bobby. And have you guys seen JoJo Splat lately? He's doing interviews. He's looking nervous. He's looking very crackheadish in the interviews. He looks scared. He looks petrified. He looks paranoid. Yeah, he rocking the pre-chain. Would you like to see that? Here's Jojo Splat in his latest interview, Rockin' the Pre-Chain. He said he started rapping because everybody was saying his name. He started rapping because everybody was giving him a clout. So he said, hey, might as well start a rap career. Now you see him posing with that Pre-Chain? That's the Pre-Chain that he took from one of the Young Dolph artists. It's beef. When he rocking that Pre-Chain, he ain't shouting out Young Dolph. You heard him in this interview. He cool with CEO Bobby. He started from the ground up. Nobody would help him out. So he got it all out the mud. And he rocking that pre-chain. Mocking Young Dolph Camp. And an official statement has been released about JoJo Splat being the second suspect in the murder of Young Dolph. And I'm going to read it for you guys right now. Let me get this statement. The statement reads, The official believe that JoJo Splat hit up the late rapper Young Dolph on November 17, 2021. When police released video footage of the suspect, JoJo is suspected of killing Young Dolph. On the recording, two armed men chased the late rapper. Apart from this, still police officers did not release the official notice to arrest JoJo Splat. So there you guys have it. The police are zoning in. They are closing in on JoJo Splat. They already got Straight Job turning himself in Monday, and I believe they will go after CEO Bobby next. You gotta explain to me how is your white Mercedes Benz is the getaway car in a high profile murder. Why did you flee Memphis after the murder of Young Dolph? JoJo Splat, 
Why are you in Atlanta right now? Why did you flee Memphis after the murder of Young Dolph as well? So all these questions need to be answered. And I believe this will tie all these three men to the murder of Young Dolph. Straight drop. Jojo Splat, CEO Bobby, and I believe there's at least two more people involved. I believe police is gonna crack this case. They're not the smarter criminals. They didn't make the right decisions. How do you park the getaway car at the same house where you shot music videos at? Everybody know they can go to your Instagram. Everybody see you posing with the bins. Everybody see you making music videos at that same house. So why did you do that? It didn't seem like it was much planning involved. So I believe all three of these guys are going to eventually go down. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the whole situation. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. Leave a comment. Share this video. I love you guys. Peace.